coming off the peninsula today to rural Manitowoc County. There's an old church, I think it's a church, in Manitowoc County that I've passed dozens of times on my way out to the interstate highway to get down to the one on. And I've never seen this church before until the last time I was by and there were no leaves on the trees, so it's kind of obscured in this thick woods. I've been waiting for the right conditions to go back there. It's about an hour drive from the house. And uh, I wasn't expecting this snow, but uh, we're on our way down, so we'll see what we get. You know, we were supposed to have partly cloudy skies today, and it looks like we're going to be about up to our ankles and partly cloudy by the end of the day. Santa looks a little drunk. Passing a few old friends here. Our friend the Leaning Barn. Oh boy, that's going to come down. Uh, it looks like it's really going to come down. Um, I'll put that one up here and show you an example of that. That was from a video I made. One lens, one barn, five days, I think. Uh, you can check that out here. On our way down to Manitowoc County, we passed through a little town called Kiwani. And uh, back in the day, when ferries ran pretty regularly across the lake, Kiwani was a big port for, uh, for ferry traffic. And that stopped back, I don't know, but the last one ran in the 70s. It's a cute little town. It's got a couple things going for it. Uh, it's got a wonderful old tug in the harbor, and it's a museum. It's got a lovely little lighthouse uh, that I have photographed a number of times. Uh, I like the architecture of the lighthouse very much. It's unique. It's similar to the one in Lorain, Ohio. But I do, I do like the lines of that lighthouse. The only problem photographing that lighthouse is there's very limited uh, access to, uh, to where you can shoot from. Uh, the Custard Place, the uh, Kiwani Custard, which is fantastic custard. Frozen custard, I should say. And for those of you who are not familiar with frozen custard, it's kind of a Wisconsin thing. Well, it's definitely a Wisconsin thing, but uh, it's a lot like ice cream, like soft serve. And unfortunately, Kiwani Custard and Grill is closed this time of year. Closed down when the tourists leave in the summer. It doesn't taste like custard. It comes in multiple flavors. It's got a wonderful texture to it, and it's very, very creamy. Lots of flavor. And what gives it that flavor, what makes it so uh, attractive, is it's 25% milk fat. So if you're at all health conscious or <laughs> weight conscious, um, you don't want to be eating a whole lot of frozen custard. And then there's the Fonz Fish Market, which is where we're going to stop on our way down to get some fresh perch for fish fry for tomorrow night. We have, uh, we have a company coming over tomorrow for a fish fry. And, uh, actually, it's Father Tony Birdsall, if you've seen the Chicken Priest uh, video. That's Father Tony. So uh, stopped by there the other day and was chatting with him. So I was doing he invited him over for his fries and had other plans. So he's glad to come. You're out of fresh perch? Yeah. You got some frozen though, I hope. Yeah, hard to get a hold of perch these days? Guys, take care.
Well, it's an awesome structure, I'll tell you that. beautiful in its day. Just the front and the chimney. It's the only thing left standing. The rest of it's all collapsed in. I would think that it's been abandoned a while. I mean, look at all of these trees growing right up against it here, all the way around. I would love to know the history of this. I haven't been able to find anything online. Uh, Maybe some local history museum. That chimney looks like it's going to come down any minute. <laughs> it's leaning in. All right, well, let's get set up and get a picture taken, huh? You know, the rain and the snow and the cold just make everything that much harder to do. <laughs> yeah, I see this is probably going to be a black and white. something about getting up close to it and having the trees, the tops of the trees in the shot that uh, make it look particularly spooky. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that. Uh, I can just get it centered and level. Yeah, pr pretty straightforward shot, no filters. You know, everything is gray and flat, and that's kind of the look I was going for. Um, that said, uh, 
get a few here and then move up close and shoot up from a low angle at it, I think. Pretty straightforward, 1 20th of a second F8 ISO 100. Shooting right at nominal exposure. The sky is just going to be steel gray. Uh, there is no color in any of this, so that's why I'm saying probably go for a black and white. Surprising amount of traffic for a country road. You know how I'm always kind of lecturing about being on private property and make sure you get permission? Well, I just got yelled at by this farmer over here. Well, not yelled at. He just said, that's private property. You don't go past the ditch. There's no signs anywhere. Doesn't look like it's his property, but it may be. So, yeah, he said I don't go past the ditch. I got all my gear, and I'm bringing it past the ditch. Really missed the shot I wanted to get, though. So I'll try to get the shot I was hoping for from back here. This side of the ditch. This may do it. Hard to tell. I guess we'll just see what we get. All right, he started up his tractor. He's got a skid steer. I think we're okay. All right, so shooting low at F8. One eighth of a second. ISO 100. This guy's kind of blown out. Take one. One twentieth of a second. All right. Well, that kind of does it for me today. I hate. You know, I'm so good about asking. How about going on private property? But this is just in a field. Um, a farm about 300 yards, 400 yards away. I feel bad. It's kind of taking it. Taking the fun, taking the joy out of it for me today. I feel bad. Don't want to be trespassing on anyone's property. I don't know how much of that last segment that I was filming actually uh, I got because I ran out of battery. And that was my second battery. So one more look at that thing, huh? What a cool place. Well, that does it for me for today. Roads are getting bad, I should have got on home. Oh, that's the way my day is going. 
running out of battery, getting yelled at for being on private property. <sighs> Didn't exactly turn out the way I had hoped, but it's the way it goes more often than not. So about a 40 mile drive home. Until next time, take care of yourselves and I'll see you down the road. Thanks for watching everyone.